So when previously Anita Sarkeesian ran a Kickstarter, a crowdfunder, to make five videos and raised $160,000. It was co-written by Jonathan McIntosh. Anita has since gone on to raise $200,000 to make another five videos about ordinary women. While Jonathan thinks that men should have equal rights to women. And so he wants to raise a mere $1,000 per video. That is, he wants to work on three cents on the dollar for what a woman doing exactly the same work gets. Well, let's check out his crowdfunding pitch in a shot by shot comparison with Anita Sarkeesian's, just to see if we can spot any similarities before coming to the epic punchline. Have you ever noticed that with a few notable exceptions, basically all female characters in video games fall into a small handful of cliches and stereotypes? At this point, we're all familiar with the standard media conventions. Men are typically shown as either stoic heroes who use violence to solve all of their problems, or as bumbling fools who are incapable of nurturing or caregiving. I'm Anita Sarkeesian and I run the video web series Feminist Frequency. As a pop culture critic, I look at movies, TV shows, comic books, and of course video games. Hi there, I'm Jonathan. I'm a pop culture critic and video producer. This one will focus on deconstructing the representations of masculinity that we see embedded in movies, TV shows, comic books, and video games. Many games tend to reinforce and amplify sexist and downright misogynist ideas about women. The messages that pop culture sends to boys and men about masculinity are consistently both limiting and harmful. In this particular project, which I'm calling Tropes vs. Women in Video Games, Welcome to the Pop Culture Detective Agency. I'm going to create a series of five videos that look at and deconstruct the most common and the most stereotypical representations of women in games. A brand new web series that looks at media through a critical lens with a special emphasis on the depictions of men and masculinity in popular culture. Last year I released a successful video series called Tropes vs. Women. Over the past three years, I've had the honor of working as producer and co-writer on the first season of Feminist Frequency's influential web series, Tropes vs. Women in Video Games. Each video in this new series will be between 10 and 20 minutes long, with well-researched, in-depth analysis. These episodes will be long-form video essays, between 10 and 20 minutes long. As with all Feminist Frequency videos, these will be available online for free for everyone and anyone to watch, share, and use. Plus. All my videos will be available for free for everyone, including educators. In each video, I'll also be sure to showcase some inventive and interesting games that manage to avoid these harmful tropes. But this project won't only focus on the negative. I'll also be producing a series of videos that look at positive examples of manhood in the media. As you might imagine, this project requires an enormous amount of research because I'm not just looking at a handful of games or just the worst offenders. Creating these videos really is a full-time job. They take a tremendous amount of time to research, write, and produce. This is an incredibly ambitious project because of the scope and scale of the research and production involved. So please donate any amount you can to bring this video series to life. So the only way this project can continue is if you fund it. You'll find all the details in the text below this video. So his video pitch is almost shot by shot plagiarized. <coughs> Sorry, shot by shot inspired by. Nah, let me start again. So his pitch is almost shot by shot identical to Anita Sarkeesian's crowdfunder. That is, they're doing exactly the same job on exactly the same sort of material. The woman is currently getting about $40,000 per video. And what's Fort Macintosh getting? Oh, that's a shame. You mean a man is getting paid less than a cent on the dollar for what a woman doing exactly the same work is getting? And your only concern was, how can you emasculate yourself still further? So my hope is that this video series can help open up conversations about how we, as men, can work together to achieve more constructive, cooperative, and empathetic forms of masculinity. Sorry I'm white! Sorry I'm male! I'm sorry I'm white! I'm sorry I'm male! <laughs> God, I love it when a man gets served exactly the feminism that he deserves. Creating these videos really is a full-time job. They take a tremendous amount of time to research, write, and produce. Yeah, I just promised to watch both the Star Wars prequels and The Big Bang Theory. That's gotta be worth some support right there. <laughs>